The Hopi Indians regard themselves as the first inhabitants of the Americas. A bright star led them to the land where they settled. The Hopi now say that the star was a flying saucer, piloted by beings they call Kachinas, regarded in their religion as demigods. South America is called the continent of UFOs, where more than 30,000 UFO sightings have been made. Most of the UFO reports have come from Brazil, Argentina, Peru and Venezuela, countries linked by the Andes Mountains. There are claims that the UFOs have secret bases hidden away in the mountains. Most of the photographs of UFOs have been taken in South America. According to researchers, South American states have top secret information which they pass on to the CIA in the United States. Yeah, definitely the Brazilian government is hiding information about UFO sightings and contacts. And I'll say more, I'd say that uh, half of the governments in all over the world knows a lot about UFOs and they're hiding information about them, of course. Some governments adopt a more liberal position, a more liberal uh, status and releases information like France, like some ministries of China and Argentina and Belgium. We have published information about several operations involving the military personnel from the aeronautics, Brazilian Air Force. Uh, sometimes just making night surveillance in Amazon and in other times even chasing UFOs with jets like it happens in Brazil. Because what happens, like it happens in the States, I mean, because what happens is that our government collaborated to the US government for quite 30 years in the past. And they, of course, the government of the United States have a, a strict policy about UFO stuff, about UFO sightings, about how to report it. And it asked it, the government of the United States asked it to the government ally to it, to give it to them information about UFOs that they could gather in their countries. So it happened to Brazil. We are here on Earth is exactly what they were about two or three thousand years ago in their own planet. Many of the civilizations in outer space studied by Professor A.J. Gevard have visited Earth. Gevard believes they take a neutral view of people but are worried about the condition of the Earth. Secret documents reveal that women between the ages of 17 and 30 have been the most frequent targets of kidnappings and of egg cell and fetus tests. The abducted women have seen hundreds of fetuses inside UFOs at different stages of development ranging from three to nine months. Extraterrestrial beings have seized pregnant women and removed their fetuses. Virgins have become pregnant, their pregnancies terminating with the disappearance of the fetus. Certainly the aliens have demonstrated in many abduction cases an interest in human reproduction. That does not mean automatically that every lost fetus was taken by an alien. So I think that they are operating under a set of rules which says get all the information you can, catalog, evaluate, uh, put it all together, and when they get ready to leave, we Earthlings, they will not permit us to do so unless we have learned the rules of the neighborhood. So I think they're here for their purposes, not to satisfy us. If you were an alien, you'd be concerned. After all, we only killed 50 million of our own kind in World War II and destroyed more than 1,700 cities. You certainly wouldn't want Earthlings going out with that kind of an attitude. Just think for a minute. Last year, the countries on this planet spent a trillion dollars U.S. on things military. And yet every single day of the year, 35,000 children died needlessly from preventable starvation and preventable disease. If that isn't an indication that we have our priorities mixed up, I don't know what is. So if I were an alien, I'd be concerned about Earthlings too. That's why I do what I'm doing. That's why I've spoken at 600 colleges and 100 professional groups in 50 states and 9 of 10 Canadian provinces. 
There is a need for the world to be awakened, to be educated, to take a new view of how we should behave and where we fit in the universe. The time is now. Thank you.